Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am testing out new brow products. I have been using the same brow product for like over a year and I'm sick and tired of that one. And now I have finally decided to... It's over for that one. So I am testing out this Best in Brows brow kit from Colourpop. And I got in the color blonde. And it looks like this. So you get four things. Uh, I don't remember how much it was, but I can write it down here maybe, or down here. Down here, I think. So you get a pre precision brow pencil, brow boss pencil, pre pre precision brow color, and brow boss brow gel. And I ordered the kit, <laughs> as you see, and I took the color blonde, but it's different colors. For these, I'm going to try to take them out. So for the super bad thought to do a video on this one. Precision Brow Pencil I got in Champagne Blonde. And the Brow Boss I got just in Blonde. And this Precision Brow Color I got in Champagne Blonde as well. And this Brow Boss Brow Gel in blonde. So I'm going to try these and I usually don't use pens for my eyebrows because I it's not a thing for me. I like can't do it. It doesn't look good but I will try and I thought that I can read what these are supposed to do or to help with. Um, this is this the precision this precision brow pencil, a soft and creamy precision pencil designed to fill in spare brows and create shape. Buildable, long wear and waterproof, this pencil gives a defined brow finish. I do not have spare brows. I don't know if you can see, but I got shitloads of hairs on my eyebrows, but they are blonde. Um, I need to fix them. So I think I will use this to make a shape. Maybe. The other pen, the Brow Boss Pencil, a micro-tipped pencil designed to mimic fine hair like strokes to define a shape brows for a fuller look, natural and look. For a fuller looking, natural and look. So I think I'll try to take this like out here in the end or in the beginning, in the beginning of the brow and see how that goes. And the Precision Brow Color, a waterproof creamy brow color that glides on smooth to create sculpt sculpted, bold and defined brows. So I'm going to fill in my brow with this. And the last one, Brow Boss Brow Gel, a quick and easy brow gel that tames and grooms while providing a natural looking fullness that never looks or feel crunchy. So, I... I don't even know if you're supposed to use all these products in one and I hate doing my eyebrows on camera so like why am I doing this I don't know so I think I will try to use them all four okay so I think that this is as close as you're going to get and I don't know about the lighting now I am so freaking close to my lights I really hope it's okay it's so hard to see in like the viewfinder to see is this too light or is this perfect? I don't know. So okay, I will fix the brows. And my brush for this I'm using my trusty little eyebrow brush. This is from Real Techniques. It's like the best brow, the best pencil I have ever worked with for my brows. And this was a limited edition and this is not even a brow brush. This is an eyeliner brush. But first up, I will brush those hairy brows. Precision brow pencil. This little guy. And this was in the color Champagne Blonde. So it, it had a spool here. Um, so this is a super... How do I even twist this? Okay. So I think it just gets started. And I maybe need a brush. Brush. I think I need a mirror a little bit closer. Okay, I will try to get this good. I don't know if I'm able to do that. So I will take this and I will... 
I hate this. I will try to make a shape. And I have never been into pencils from my brows. What, of, what kind of shape this is this? Because I don't like... I just don't know. I just don't like it, but this was so freaking creamy. This looks like a sad brow. I don't even know why I'm doing this. And I didn't want to put on my base because I am fixing my brows every morning. Yeah, unbelievable <laughs> when I'm doing this shit brow. Uh, and I don't wear any face makeup to work. Okay. So aren't you supposed to... Okay, you can't reverse this. It was like the shittiest thing ever. But what if I don't want to use... Okay. I can't get this down. And I will break this when I put on the cap. You did not think this through, Call Pop. I think I just have to do a little bit more. Okay. So I excuse my sad little brow. So that was the Precision Brow Pencil. And I haven't tried a lot of brow pencils. But I think this was the most creamiest I have ever tried. Okay, then I think I will go in with a little... <coughs> with a little Precision Brow Color. And this is the things I am used to. This and powder. And I will fill in my brow with this. And I take my little brush. It feels... So creamy. And it was a long time ago. Okay. So I will fill in my brow. And I am a little this is going this is supposed to be champagne blonde. But it feels like it's pretty dark for being a blonde. Or is it just me? It was super easy to fill it in and I didn't need much on the brush and I didn't take much of the product. It feels pretty dark for being blonde or champagne blonde. I think this was the lightest color so it feels but it's almost the same as my hair so maybe it's not that dark. Okay so nothing to say now. It was easy to apply, it doesn't come off to my finger, so that's good. I like it so far. And then I will take the brow boss and I will try to make some strokes. This you can twist down again. Okay, so this was like to mimic fine hair like strokes. I never do this. This doesn't feel as creamy as the first one. What is the other one? And what is this for kind of brow shape? I don't know. It's like the worst brows ever. The one thing I like, it's, uh, I usually get like a super hard edge because I only use my, uh, what is it called? What is it even called? My brush. So I think it's usually it's a pretty hard edge for me, but this was a little bit softer. This was also creamy, so. I am okay with this one as well. And then the last thing is the Brow Boss Brow Gel. And I, it feels like they are pretty, they are dry and it feels like they may 
going to be able to lay like this. I don't know. I just feel like I want to brush them through with a spoolie to take away the excess. Maybe do it a little bit more so the brow color just don't lace on the hair so it like merge into the hairs if you let me get what I mean. So something like that and I think the color is a little bit better now. Then I will go in with the Brow Boss Brow Gel and the one thing I like about this it's a super small brush and then I think I just will Take it on the brows. And I like to use some... Oh. This was a freaking lot of product. Okay, I am not super impressed because it came so much product and now it's like... Every hair is on their own. I like them better before the brow gel. So I am not super liking the brow gel. Okay, so I'm not super pleased with the brow now. It looks very painted on. So I go in with spool again and this brow boss gel. It was too much and it was so wet. I don't really like that. And I don't really like what it did to my brow hair. It feels like it's so sticky and hard to shape for some reason. So, okay, this is my finished brow and it, it does not look so good. I can agree on that. So, yeah, this is my little first impression with this. What is it even called? Best in Brow from Colourpop. And I actually like these pens. These are the softest pens I have tried. I've tried some other pens but they are so hard um so i i like these two they were very cream and easy to work with i don't i think you only need one of them because it felt like they could do the same thing both of them and this one i think it was pretty dark for being blonde but it doesn't look so dark in here so i can totally work with it it was easy to apply it sticked both to your skin and to your hairs and that is important for me and then the last one the brow boss gel i didn't like this it felt too wet and it really clumped it doesn't even call it clumped in english like all the lashes it's not the lashes all the brow hairs get stuck in each other and when i try to take it away it did it doesn't look so good anymore I don't know what it is, but I I will not use this over this. I think maybe you can use this on its own. I usually can't do it because my hairs... Or I can actually try it on, on this brow. I have two brows. I think this is maybe better if you have like spare brows and you just want to have some more color because I can't only use this. It will not stick to all the hairs. And it just like doesn't look good as you see. So this is all products on the brow and this is only the brow boss and this brow boss gel. I think this will work perfectly if you have like spare brows and just want a little more oomph to them but if you are like me that has no color at all in your natural brows I think this is too weak of product because I don't think this looks good at all it feels like I have tiny eyebrows and I like bigger eyebrows so I will keep using at least these three products and see what I think I will keep you updated updated maybe I do an update in this video I don't know yet but I will try this at work and see what they are going for I work eight or nine hours so they will get up to a test so I can write down in the description 
or I come back. No. Yeah. No. If I hate it or if I super love it, maybe I continue this video. But if I'm just okay with them, I can just write down in the description what I think. So I will have to test them out a little bit, see what I think and like that. So yeah, this was my first impression of the best in brows from Colourpop. I hope you really liked this video and no, I am not the best person in the world with eyebrows. I suck at eyebrows. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you have tried these products, please let me know and let me know what you think. I'm not thrilled, I am not super disappointed, I am just okay right now. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!